Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy on the game race seven zero back with another banger. Peep game, peep game. We got a couple of cards today, and we have made some major adjustments. I must admit, probably the most important card that I got today, what I've gotten recently, is Emmanuel Sanders. Um, let me show you what I mean. The top in my rating so far, ninety six overall. 97 offense, 96 defense. That's what we're rocking with right now. That's what we're rocking with right now. So peep game on us, y'all. We are. We have made some major adjustments since the last time I did an updated video. Major adjustments. As you can see, my offensive line is sitting pretty right now. Um, I got Tony Baselli all the way up to a 98. I don't know anybody else who has their Tony Vaselli up to a 98. Uh, he has edge protector on him, 99 strength, 96 awareness, pass blocking is 96, pass block power, 95, uh, pass block finesse is 95, run block, run blocking is 98, run block power is 99, run block finesse is 99. I think you see it already. I think you see it already. We're going to start running the ball again, y'all. That's I mean, it's end of the year. Might as well have some fun with it. Let's look at Mr. Roger Saffold. He's, a, he's our lowest, well, one of our lowest rated. He's a 96. He's a 96. 97 strength. 93 awareness. 94 pass blocking. 90 pass block power, 92 pass block finesse, 99 run blocking, 99 run block power, 99 run block finesse. I think you see it. I think you see it. You should be excited because I am. I mean, we definitely are making some appropriate moves to be able to run the ball. Mr. Matt Paradise is my starting center, 97 overall. 97 overall. Let's take a look at what his numbers are. 98 strength, 95 awareness, 92 pass blocking, 94 pass block power, 91 pass block finesse, 98 run blocking, 99 run block power, 99 run block finesse. I think you see it. I hope you see it. It's amazing. We should be able to run the ball, right? Everybody got 99 run block Power run block finesse. So we should be able to run the ball, right? Mr. Matt Garcia is my starting right guard. Um, 97 strength, 93 awareness, 94 pass blocking, 95 pass block power, 95 uh, pass block finesse, 96 run blocking, eh, 99 run block power, and 99 run block for Nest. I may see if there are other options because I don't like the fact that he's just a 96 run pass run block. May see if there are other options out there for him and Bronco Country. I, I just may. I'm not sure. And Mr. Bobby Massey. And I just might power up uh, Billy Turner. It depends. I may just power up Mr. Billy Turner, depending on what Bobby Massey is bringing to the table. Uh-uh. He's not starting for me. He's not starting for me. These numbers are trash. But he is out here to be a... But he's a pass protector, and his pass blocking numbers are low. So I'm thinking I want to go ahead and run with uh, Billy Turner. I'm going to power up Billy Turner. But you all see what I'm in the mindset of doing. The reason I said that um, Emmanuel Sanders was the most important part that I, what most important card that I got is Javante Devonte Adams. Of course, is a 99 speed, right? He's 99 speed, and I have deep any lead on him. 99 speed, 99 jumping. 99 catching, 99 catching traffic, 99 spec catch, 97 short, mid, and deep route running. Great numbers, amazing numbers. Those are Devontae Adams' numbers. Now, we got we picked up Wes Welker today. 
And a lot of people are like, man, he's short. He doesn't, he ain't going to be anything special, but he gets 99 speed. He gets 99 speed, which is very important. I have a uh, slot apprentice on him. I have, he gets 99 speed, 94 jumping, 98 catching, 97 catching traffic, 96 fit catch, 97 short ride running, 95 mid and deep ride running. Only 5'9". But the, the routes that I run with my slot receiver, he is tall enough to get that done. So with that in mind, the reason I say that Emmanuel Sanders, now they did him dirty on the speed. They only gave him 95 speed. But as a he gets Broncos Kim, he gets Broncos Kim, so that allows for me to have another 98 speed receiver. I took off my deep route specialist, and I only have Broncos Kim on my receivers. I wanted to do something different. I was like, everybody's having their receivers coming out and they're having these guys as monsters or whatever. And I wanted to try something different. So that the reason that I, I say that Emmanuel Sanders is my most important card, my most important, my most important pickup, is because of that. Uh, 98 speed, 95 jumping, 98 catching, 95 catching traffic, 96 spec catch, 95 short route running, 94 mid route running, 96 deep route running. The reason that he's the most important card is because he allowed me to have three guys 98 speed and up as my receivers. You just want somebody that can mess, that can basically get open. You just basically want somebody that can that can run their routes and get open. Now, Melvin Gordon has had the biggest increase of everybody. Melvin Gordon has had the biggest increase of everybody. He has backfield mismatch on him. 97 speed, 96 acceleration, 95 agility, 95 carrying. He has 80 catching, 88 change of direction, 87 trucking, 99 brake tackle. In theory, this car should be amazing. Like, in theory, this car should be everything that you're looking for. It never works out that way, Madden, but it is what it is. I think I want to just start coming out and just running the ball, getting people to start run committing and then throw it right over the top of them. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm not sure. I don't think I've made a update video since I've had Russell Wilson. I know I have videos that I need to edit, but I don't, I don't think I've produced. I mean, I don't think I've made them available for you all. Um, all I have on my Russell Wilson are long range, dead eye, and gunslinger. His attributes are sick. 98 speed, 98 throw under pressure. Um, throwing power, I'm sorry. 96 short accuracy, 98 mid accuracy, 97 deep accuracy, 96 throw under pressure, 99 run, 99 play action. Again, this is a this might as well be a golden ticket. This is a an amazing card. It's crazy how his numbers are right now. Very good card. Very good card. Um, I don't, well, nothing's changed in terms of, in terms of Vernon Davis. I think you all know that Tim Tebow is my third string tight end. No offense is my, well, Larry Zonka, his numbers increased too. Larry Zonka's number, numbers increased too. Um... Nothing fancy. I, I didn't get Larry Zucker so he could be a star. I just, when I bought the bundle to show you all, I just kept the card and made it my starting fullback. But he has 89 speed, trash. But he can block. He can block. So we are looking to use his this card as a great blocker. Hopefully that can be the case. Be on the lookout in the, very, in the next couple of days. I'm going to actually have some gameplay for you all so you can see if the plan works or not. That's the offensive side of the ball. Defensive side of the ball, I've made some major defensive adjustments. Um, those of you who are regulars to the channel, you already know that DeMarcus Ware and Von Miller are usually my starters. They're usually my starters. However, well, they're usually my starting rushers. However, I have decided that I'm going to do something a little bit different. 
Um, I'm going to have Randy Gregory as well as Marcus Davenport as my starting ends. And the reason for that, the reason for that is this. Um, they get edge threat elite for three AP and no outsiders for two AP on Marcus Davenport. So that's the reason for that. If you remember my when I had Ware and Miller, they got edge threat elite for four AP and no outsiders would have been another two or three. I don't recall, but it would have been a lot more expensive. So I decided to go ahead and try Marcus Davenport and Randy Gregory. Now, I'll be honest with you. I can't see a difference, and it's not the most positive. It's They don't get home as quickly as Miller and um, Ware. And they should. They should because they Davenport's 96 speed. 96 speed. But at times, he, he doesn't. He doesn't do what I need him to do. Like when I had Miller and Ware, it was a race to the quarterback. But, you know, they don't necessarily do it. One thing that I've also had to do, I've had to take Ty Law, and I've had to put him at second cornerback. If you all remember, Ty Law was notorious for getting mossed back in the day. So I put Aqib Tlaib as my second um, cornerback. But Aqib Tlaib has just not been playing well recently. Like he's been getting – embarrassed to, to say the least so I've, I've had to go ahead and make that adjustment um those of you that are familiar Ty Law was 99 overall when I got him 99 speed 96 acceleration 97 agility 98 jumping 94 play rec 96 man coverage 98 zone coverage and 96 press nothing too fancy but he does he is playing better than uh, than my guy right now, so I had to get a keep to leave out of there, which kind of hurt my feelings because keep to leave was that he was a dog at first. Um, another thing that I, that I have done, I've gone ahead and gotten Marcus May. Marcus May actually plays safety for me. Um, I I don't allow him to play user. I probably should, but he throw it in this neighborhood. He got it. I I. Just, I just been lazy with editing, but this guy is an amazing safety. Like he comes out of nowhere, catches interceptions, does what he needs to do. 99 speed, 98 excel, 94 tackling, 94 play rec, 99 pursuit, 96 man coverage, 99 zone coverage, 95 power at six feet 207. He a dog. He's a dog. Now, one thing that I have done, one adjustment is. Dawkins is my user. I use Dawkins and Cam Chancellor now. So we are looking pretty good out there, you all. We're looking pretty good. DJ Jones is my number one defensive tackle in terms of my lineup here. But as those of you who know, he's deaf. He doesn't see the field at all. Um, you all know that by now. But let's take a look at my specialist cards to show you exactly what's going on. Uh, my third down back is Melvin Gordon. Power back is Javante Williams. Uh, my slot receiver, of course, is Wes Wilkerson since it's archetype. Uh, we have Marcus Davenport, my rush left end, and Randy Gregory is my rush right end. My starting defensive tackles, the ones who actually play all the time for me, are Vince Wilfork and William Perry. They both get Run stop, well, inside stuff, I mean, for one AP. So that's pretty much why I use them there. I have two gold 99s. It's my sub linebackers. That's Cam Chancellor and Marcus May. We, we, we're pretty good right there. We're, we're pretty solid. Now, the, one of the, the major differences that I was able to make because of Emmanuel Sanders is I now have zone run as my offensive strategy cards. Zone run is, is now my leading thing in terms of my offensive strategy cards. And it's amazing. It's amazing. I will get you all some gameplay here in the very near future, but I love them. I love them. It, it's, it, it makes a huge difference in my gameplay. I can run the ball more effectively now. So with that in mind, you all continue to be blessed. Continue to allow God to use you. If nobody's told you today, I love each and every one of you, and there's nothing that you can do about it. Peace.